then watch as we create a modern headboard out of this dated headboard simply by removing details such as these and giving it a black gel stain. We are also going to remove this piece off the top and we thought that this was going to be as simple as removing the screws and giving it a couple taps but we learned that quickly that that was not the case. This piece was not budging at all and we realized this was probably the most secured piece that we've ever seen added to a headboard. Not only had they chiseled out a groove in the top of the headboard and inserted it into there, but then they doubled down by putting a board with screws. This piece was hard to take off. There is the chiseled insert that they had used to put it into. Luckily, all the other details were very easy to get off. This is in real time and you can see how easy Matt removed it. And I followed behind him removing all of the tiny little nails that it left behind. Then we used our Surf Prep Orbital Sander. This is the six inch orbital sander and I am sanding it. And this is when I got so excited that we were staining this piece instead of painting it because let me geek out for a moment on this gorgeous wood grain. And this is going to look so sleek and so good with this black gel stain. And you can use our code MOSES10 on the Surf Prep website for 10% off of all of their sanding products. The next thing, we are going to repurpose the part that we worked so hard to get off of and we are going to use this to cut out a new insert to insert into the top of the headboard. This may be going a little overboard because no one's ever going to see the top of the headboard, but we take great pride in our work and we wanted to use this piece because not only did we already have it on hand, but it was going to match the wood grain perfectly because it came from the wood itself. So we put some wood glue on and we chiseled it out and put it, just gave it a few taps and inserted it and then had a little pieces for the sides. Next, we go in with a hand sanding tool that we got off Amazon. You can find it in our Amazon shop, but for the little areas that our sanders can't get to, these work for all those tiny details. And now Matt is using a 180 grit to do a finishing sand before we apply this black gel stain by General Finishes. We applied it with a foam brush and then we wiped it back with a rag and I'm getting the little details on the side and Matt came in to help me and finish wiping it off and trying to make it look as consistent as possible. One thing with gel stains to know is that it takes 72 hours at least to make sure that it is fully dry before applying your top coat. And we are using Malaysi 2K top coat as our top coat. So after we apply the first top coat, one thing that we do to ensure a nice smooth finish is that we actually scuff sand in between coats. Any dust or bubbles or air bubbles or anything that gets onto the finish gets sanded off with this light scuff sand in between coats and gives you a really smooth finish. We do this when we paint as well. So now that we have scuff sanded and wiped it off, Matt is going to apply the second coat of the top coat and then we will be done. So here's the finished look. We love how it turned out. We think it looks so much more modern with this black gel stain and getting rid of those tiny details that really dated the piece. But most importantly, our clients loved it. Make sure that you like and subscribe and follow along with us for more flips and tricks.